Well, we've um, or a little bit. Yeah, we've 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 bypassed the family principle in yeah. in yeah. Europe. That's what's happened here. Yeah. I mean, in in, yeah. in South America, those connections are still there because because people need them. You can't survive without them because the social structures are not in place and then the IQ of the average population is unfortunately so low that they vote for socialism mm -hmm. right I mean only low IQ people vote for socialism communism and fascism and so you know you get Venezuela right you get Argentina <laughs> you get favelas the, the, the Brazilian slums right I mean this is this is the result of social policies mm -hmm not uh, intellectual progress. Mm -hmm. There is, to, to, to the intelligent mind, there is the obvious result of everything. It's not, you know, you can, you can see the bad result coming. Mm -hmm. You know, like the football team with the bad strategy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, going, you're going to lose, right? And um, so in, the family unit tends to be stronger in, in, in countries where life is harder. We, and when we, we have this European system where you can escape your family at a very young age, say three, and have very little contact with them. Say only 50% of your time will be contact with your family and 50% will be state institutions, clubs and organizations, which is a great way to allow people to develop and break the cycle because families are cycles of bullshit right <laughs> you know um so it, it it's it's great in terms of opportunities for personal development but there's a negative side for for society that people tend not to understand what family is what family means what values are um the social philosopher Stefan Molyneux made a presentation a few weeks ago that I watched and he, um, he does a lot of reflection in his own life about his own experiences and this is, this is the best way to philosophize right? It's to think about what happened to you and why it happened and he gave this short presentation it's only 15 minutes and it's, called, it's called No Rules mm -hmm. and he said when I grew up he said there were no rules there was no way for how to live because everything was okay everything was acceptable and everything was okay you could you could eat as many sweets as you could afford to buy you could you know go out and party as late as you wanted to party you could have as much casual sex as you wanted mm -hmm. there, 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 were, there, there were no rules and, and he said that in a society where there are no rules, this, everything just kind of falls apart. And, I, he, and when I look back at my own life, it was very much the same. You could sort of do whatever you wanted and it was okay. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever came to you and said, wait, stop there one minute, boy. <laughs> Perhaps you should think about whether this is the right road for you. <laughs> you know, no one ever sort of really, you know, find, find your own way. Don't, you know, it's your life's a journey, you know, have these experiences, you know, learn, grow. There was, there was very little guidance in terms of uh, very, very good ethics or morals. And that's what we have here. That's what we have in, in this part of the world. We have this, this, you can be anything. You can, if you work hard, there's a strong possibility that you can be almost anything you want to be. But the, you, 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 you leave things behind. You leave your family, you leave your family behind. You leave your friends behind. You leave your school behind. You leave your community behind. And the greatest tragedy of that is the brain drain. The brain drain is when the young intelligentsia, the young intelligent people, leave, leave. They leave the villages, they leave the towns, they go to the, 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 the bigger cities, you know, the, 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 the local 
intelligentsia go to the, the nearest big town they study at the university, the more intelligent intelligent go to a university in a foreign country. They go to from Slovakia, they go to Brno or or, or, or Prague or, or, or somewhere else. And then from Brno and Prague, they go to other countries. And they don't really come back. You know, people say, oh, you know, they're, they're, they come back eventually. They, they, they don't because their time, their energy, their resources, the companies they work for, they're all out, out there somewhere. They're, 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 they're not here. And, um, and so family just kind of doesn't have the same meaning to people. I mean, it's... It's almost abstract to a lot of people. They, they they don't understand the the value of commitment and the struggles. The struggles. The struggle is the the the, the hard things, the hardships that that happen. Because because the moment people have a problem, they switch their boyfriend, switch their girlfriend, switch their wife. Switch. Change, change, yeah, yeah, switch, switch. They, 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 they switch. And when you switch, you don't grow. When you when you switch, you don't grow because. You must start again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. You. That, that's a good way of looking at it. You start again, but you start from zero. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you you grow and learn. And then you switch, you're back to the beginning again. And then you grow and learn, and you're back to the beginning again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. y y it's the... You know, if, if you're jogging up... It, here's a classic example. You're jogging up a hill, right? If you stop and turn around and go back down to the bottom, well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> that's it. You're not going to get to the top. You're not going to get any further. You have to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going and, 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 and work work through the problems and that's how you, you know, get to the next level. And what is success? Success is not stopping. You know, I had, I had a long conversation with one of my clients uh, on was it Tuesday about that. You know, she like, why was I? She was asking me like, why was I not successful in this? Why was I not successful in that? And you stopped. You stopped. You, 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 you just, you, you, if you were still doing that today, maybe you'd be successful, but you will never know because you stopped. And the, the crazy fact is you never, you never know how close you are to success. I mean, a, a lot of people spend a lot of time solving problems and then they eventually go, ah, forget it. You, you never know how close you are. You know, maybe tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe you meet someone who changes the direction. Maybe you meet someone who, I, I, I don't know. So, um, in terms of society and families, there's much more connection in the, the harder societies. Because you have to, to survive. You, 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 can't, you can't do it alone. There's the... There's a large amount of loneliness in the Western world. Loneliness. There's a large amount of loneliness in the Western world because people can be very successful alone. You don't, you don't need a lot of other people around about you to get th through life, but that doesn't give you any quality because it, it's people that give you variety and change and inspiration and... Uh, that tell you when you're doing the wrong thing. Like good friends, right? Good friends tell you, um, no. <laughs> Space. <laughs> that's, that's what they tell you. So yeah, it's an interesting observation about culture and and and, and, and society and like it's too easy. In the West, to disconnect from people and to let go, um, and to let to let go, it's just too easy. It's too it's far it's far too easy. You know, it's uh, oh my, 
My mother's getting, once I listening to this story, my, my mother is getting remarried for the third time, so. Third time? Yeah, third time, yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my accountant, too. <laughs> it's not normal. It's it's very very important uh, tidy personal life. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. A tidy personal life, yeah.